While the entire March wave of LEGO Harry Potter products is quite interesting, thank you LEGO for sending it for review, there's one that clearly stands out, which is the talking sorting hat. Because the model isn't just for show, as the thing literally talks. <laughs> But before that, let's look at the minifigure version of the thing that while not exclusive to the set is still nice to have, with a cool Harry Potter minifigure to go with it, with that closed eyes expression he had when the sorting hat was placed on top of his head in the first year entrance ceremony. The alternate expression is a very relieved one after he got chosen into the house of Gryffindor. Now speaking of Hogwarts houses, the base of the hat features printed tiles to match all four of them, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw which is great, and deep within the build, 2x2 colored bricks with the houses respective colors were also used, which is very cool to see. But the highlight here is the sorting hat, of course. You can kinda see the worn down look, further accentuated with the use of two stitched fabric stickers, unfortunately, but also two printed quarter round tiles here with a few more stitches. The use of lots of different types of Lego elements made for a surprisingly good effect on the rugged look of the object, more so in the front than in the back, where the looks aren't quite as good, I think. The pieces for the strings are okay, those should have been brown, and then there's these exposed studs and a super smooth surface up there. There are reasons for these choices, though. Up here, taking a few pieces apart, we'll review a few even easter eggs, the relics of the Hogwarts founders, Sword of Gryffindor, Slytherin's Locket, Hufflepuff's Cup, and the Ravenclaw's Diadem. And the exposed studs down here are actually part of a leaf to access the special sound brick that brings the sorting hat to live, which is the whole reason this thing exists. There's two ways for you to trigger the hat. One is touching the tip, and the other a knob underneath the hat, which is cool, as you can actually place the hat on people's heads and have him talk. If you don't push the triggers all the way, only the eyes and mouth will move, which was a super simple and clever mechanism we can see slightly better from the back. But pushing the mechanisms a little further, this piece will touch the sound brick button to do its thing. Quite loudly, surprisingly enough, playing one out of 31 randomized sounds. How cool is that, right? And the looks of it all aren't all that bad, especially when you display it next to some other Harry Potter Lego sets, like the Hogwarts Icons one, as it fits right in there with the theme. The pricing could be seen as terrible, because for a set that will retail for $100 but only packs 561 pieces, the price per piece ratio goes out the window, but we cannot possibly forget the sound brick. This little thing, while relatively small, must be a production nightmare, and it would not be crazy to assume that if it weren't for the sound brick, the set could easily have been $40 to $50 cheaper. At least two new molding machines must have been made for the top and bottom elements of the assembly, there's the rubber button piece, the internal circuits and electronics, the screws, the batteries and the sound module over here which all adds up to the cost. $80 as a final retail price would have been nicer, though the $100 feels somewhat justified and I honestly believe this will sell like hotcakes. Maybe not for the established LEGO fans, but for every Harry Potter fan out there. This new sound brick also opens up a lot of interesting opportunities for upcoming LEGO products if it's programmed to play different sounds. Sounds. The upcoming R2D2 comes to mind and would have been amazing with a sound brick, but we could go as far as having train models with sounds, cars, spaceships, lightsaber battles for Star Wars playsets, or more character based Lego models such as the sorting hat. I didn't think I would be liking this model as much as I do, but here we are. The talking sorting hat is definitely a pricey Lego model, but one that will stand out in your collections in a super nice way. Available March first, purchase links in the description if you wish to support the channel, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my review of the remaining LEGO Harry Potter sets of the wave.